Two missing here. So you may be asking, what the hell has happened here at the Peugeot? The thing is, this type of hose, actually, I have the whole hose. I have the whole hose right here, and this hose, I think it's just disintegrating from inside out. And it blew a hole right there, right here on the side. So I knew that was going to happen eventually, but I didn't think that this is going to happen in this year. I thought it would be in the, like next year because that hose had some section repaired already, and those started leaking. So I just repaired the old repairs and hoped it would last a little bit longer but uh, but it didn't so now the situation is that I need to get like a metal plate it will be between heater cores two pipes which one of them is going in and then other one is the where the coolant is coming out. And you're seeing here the finished result of the metal plate. I'm sorry, and I'm not that you will be taken to the beginning of this journey of that of the metal of plate <laughs> clip should go it's like a plastic clip I have gotten that off just so I can get the silicon wrapped around it easier like what I damas like who will cut like the mounting clip but not the silicon like who idiot would do that but that aside I need to like I put behind here a metal plate and then drill holes between them then I will have for this clip to go somewhere. And then I need to install the other end of that hose and then bleed the whole system. But, but at least the bleeding part will be easier with this hose just cause this hose has this bleeder screw right here. So it's much easier to bleed with that. That's a huge plus. But yeah, I need to just make that clip and then I should be able to just clip everything back in and then have this thing back on the road. So, the plans have changed. I'm not going to use the original clip. I'm just gonna tear it out. And through where the clip is, I'm gonna put like a long bolt through that which has a like a large spacer behind it that will keep everything together. That it will be like a clamp. I'm going to do the metal piece first. Then I'm gonna go and get some more tools. Ah, 
she it was raining so hard that I all all, all the way to the bottom like as well my shoes and probably the socks as are so anyway I have this which for which I came here and the Dremel a big Dremel with a good bit <laughs> Now you're joining on one day later where I'm gonna show you what has gone wrong and why I haven't used the aluminium part. Here it is. Here it is the creation and it isn't in the car. The car is finished. It's it's over there parked. This is the solution. Sorry about the wind noises, but I need to finish this video off. Solution is two rubber hoses which are connected to the original hoses. 
Here's the car's original. Inside the car's own hose, there's like a metal pipe. And on top of that, it's inside of this first hose. Then I just put this picker hose and clamp it down. And as you can see, no leaks. And this setup has been before in the car. So I think that's why my system at first didn't work with the aluminium part and the bolt because these clamps come to the plastic parts and this clamp down onto the, those plastic parts and I think over time the plastic has deformed and I had a really bad seal like it was leaking it wasn't leaking terribly but it was like dripping so I consider that in a car really bad leak. So this episode about the pressure is here and I hope you learned something that you need to try something new even if it isn't certain that it will work. For example I had really great idea that I could use the original clamp but I had to abandon it just for the sake of for no leaks. And this can go there.